Hey everyone, Morgan here. Today we're going to be talking about the proper use of a crucible. Now a crucible is a container that is designed to be used to heat samples up to very high temperatures, often to induce a chemical reaction, or if your sample is something like a hydrate, to dry it out. You might want to go back onto Wikipedia and look up the book The Crucible by Arthur Miller and see if you can understand the connection there. Now, crucibles come in different sizes, slightly different shapes, and two primarily different materials. These are porcelain crucibles made by the Coors Company. So they're actually called Coors Crucibles. They are so breakable, we tend not to use them in a high school lab. These crucibles are made out of metal. They work just as well as the porcelain ones, and as you can see, they don't break when you drop them, although they are much more expensive than the porcelain ones. So, to heat one of these properly, we always practice safe science. We're gonna need a ring stand, a ring about the height of your hand off of the Bunsen burner, the Bunsen burner, and the pipe stem triangle, which is used to hold the crucible on top of the metal ring. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna light our Bunsen burner to make sure that we have the ring at the right height. So, flame first, Bunsen burner closed on the bottom, turn on the gas, one person, blow this out, we can drop it in a little beaker of water, keep things safe, and now we adjust the Bunsen burner to where we have it at a nice sounding flame. I'm sure you can hear that. And that good blue cone in the middle. Okay. So that actually looks to be a pretty good height for this. The flame itself is ending just above the top of the metal ring. That blue portion, okay, the nice blue cone, I'm hoping the white lab coat makes it more visible, okay, is going to be directly beneath the crucible. So that's good. Turn that off for now. Typically what we would do is we'd give this a good washing, okay? We would set the pipe stem triangle there. We put that in and the lid can be on top and it should be slightly askew. A-S-K-E-W, look that up tonight, which means we have a little opening there so that gases can come out. Light this up, run it for about 30 seconds. That's gonna dry the crucible. Turn the flame off and then step back and wait. It's hot. If it's too hot to touch, don't touch it. Now, these are crucible tongs. And in theory, yes, they can be used to handle hot crucibles. I am going to encourage you not to use them to handle the crucible, okay? It's too easy to drop them. Occasionally, we will take them and use them to take a lid off to look inside. Always do it from a distance back. Never put your head straight over the crucible because if something were to pop out, you're gonna get a face full, okay? You can place that back on. Still not the safest thing in the world to do. I would not encourage it. Often we can tell just by bringing our hands somewhat close like this once the flame is off. Has it cooled off enough yet? You cannot weigh a hot crucible. It will interfere with the air above the crucible and that actually changes its mass. So once you've washed, dried it, Take it to the balance. We are typically going to use a balance that does milligrams, three places after the decimal, or even a tenth of a milligram, four places after the decimal, which was the analytical balance we showed you of that in a previous video you can review. So get your sample, bring it back, put it into the pipe stem triangle, crank up the flame, and follow the instructions on your lab procedure at that point. Every lab's a little bit different for how they want things to be heated. Okay, so that's it. That's proper use of a crucible. Thanks for tuning in and have a good lab. This is Morgan signing off.